So I was totally not planning to film yet, hence the appearance. I wanted to wash my hair and be cute, but I really, really want to try this look and I was going to try it quickly before I left. I have so many things that I have to do today, like I have appointments, but I think I have time to squeeze it in. So sorry about all this. Um, my next video, I promise the beanie will be gone. Um, I haven't practiced this look. Like I said in my last video, I kind of like to practice things before I do them on camera. But I have this vision of what I want the makeup to look like, and I really want to try it out today because I'm feeling very, like, grungy. I've been in a very grungy, dark, I don't know, just like grunge. That's the best way that I can describe it. That's been my mood recently. So, we're going to try this look. I hope you guys like it. I hope it turns out good. And let's get started. Okay, so I did already moisturize my face. I'm going to go in with my primer. I'm going to go in with my primer spray from Scandinavia. Oh, this is a new one. Wait, let's get it going. Okay. I feel like I want to use another primer also. I usually do a spray and then another primer. Um, maybe I'll use my hourglass. No, you know what? I'm going to use my Becca, the backlight primer. I know people say that this is only for dry skin, but I have really oily skin and I use it. And I think if you use a matte primer, not a matte primer, a matte foundation over top, it's fine. So I'm just going to take this by itself everywhere. And this is like super glowy and it gives you this really pretty like luminous finish. And then for foundation, I'm loving this foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And you guys were so right. I did use this before, but I totally forgot and I think I only used it like one time and then I, I don't know, I didn't think it was that amazing. But when I used it the other day, oh my god, it lasted so well throughout the day. It kept me matte. It didn't break down. It didn't sink into my fine lines, my pores. Like, it was amazing. And I have the shade 310 Sun Beige. So I'm going to use this again. Let's use a brush today to be different. And because I don't feel like getting up to wash my beauty blender. That's the real reason. I'm going to use the Morphe E6. And I just dot this on my face. Like so. Ooh. I just love this color. It's like such a good match for me right now. It is a little bit dark, but once I like highlight and conceal and everything, it's perfecto. Can we all say a prayer that I have a good brow day? That we all have good brow days today and every day? I had a really good brow day in my last video, and I don't know how it happens. It just happens, and I'm like, why do these brows not happen every day? It's like a once a month kind of thing for me. It's so frustrating. This is so first world. <laughs> my brows don't always look perfect. Oh my god. Sorry, I have my windows open. I know you guys can hear the cars going by, but it's so nice out today. And it's going to be like one of our last nice days. So if it gets annoying, I will shut them. I think we're okay right now, though. As a freaking truck, like, barrels by. Okay, setting with... I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder today just to be different. And I'm going to use I'm going to use my Morphe M500 cuz I find that this powder is a little bit heavier than my NARS Crystal, so I like to use a super fluffy brush. Ah, I have a fuzz. This brush is so nice. It's like a tulip shape, but you can use it like to contour, you can use it for blush. It's a good little brush. I'm going to prime my lids and then do my brows. I'll do that super quick. Not really, but I'll do it off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I think that's in focus, like, as long as I don't move, like, 
don't move. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with peach smoothie. Ah, peach smoothie from Makeup Geek right here. And I'm just gonna run that through my crease with an E40 from Sigma. You guys, I still haven't washed my makeup brushes. Oh, such a bum, I usually do it on Sundays. And I totally didn't do it yesterday. Okay. And then I'm going to take my Jouer, what is this called? Cream Eyeshadow Crayon in Abstract. Yeah. And I'm going to put this all over my lid. It's just like a black, kind of like a shimmery black, but any dark base would do. These are awesome though. So I'm going to take this all over my lid. And you don't have to be like cute or anything. Just get it on there. And then I, <laughs> that's cute. Then I blend it out with my finger. Okay. I think that's good. It doesn't have to be perfect. Because we're going over top of it with eyeshadow. But now, got to clean my fingers off. Oh, I'll just wipe it on my shorts. Oh. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? So bad. I'll be right back. Do you hear this? Nicole's filming, let's go. <laughs> All right, so next I'm going to take, I debated about this because there were two shades that I wanted to use, but I'm going to take Secret Garden from Makeup Geek. This is one of their new duo chromes and I'm gonna put this all over my lid with my finger. You know what, maybe, well, I'll start out with my finger. I may go in and wet a brush with Fix Plus and go over it, but we'll start out like this. Look how pretty that is. I was watching Jacqueline's video last night and I'm like, son of a bitch. I wanted to do a look with Secret Garden and then she posted that. I think she posted it yesterday or the day before. I was like, come on, Jacqueline, you beat me to the punch. But our looks are going to be different. Like, her crease was super warm. Mine's going to be more, like, grungy. Um, I do have a 10% off code. It is an affiliate code. I will put it down below if you're interested. These shadows are kick-ass. I did a video on these, which I'll also put down below in case you guys haven't seen it. I swatch all of the colors and they are so good. And then I'm going to go in with Time Travel. This is one of the new Makeup Geek matte shadows that is coming out tomorrow, I believe. And I will have a video on all of these guys coming very, very soon. I'm going to use an E25 from Sigma for this. And this shadow is hella pigmented. And I'm just going to start blending out the crease. We still in focus and this will take time because we're working with such dark shades so just take your time don't get discouraged just keep blending and if you have trouble blending out such a dark shade you can go in with like a matte brown or just some lighter shade to kind of help I know it sounds stupid you're taking a lighter shade to blend darker shades but it does work Oh my god, this brush is so awesome. Why do I never use this? The Morphe E17? I kind of forgot about this. 17's my lucky number. Yay! Okay, so that's where we're kind of at right now. I feel like I want purple. I'm feeling like a peacock vibe right now. But I don't want to do what Jacqueline did. No, I'm gonna... I know what I'm gonna do. I just, look what I just did. Ugh, I'm so annoyed with myself. Okay, I'm gonna fix this with a little bit of concealer. We're just using a tiny bit so it won't get like gross or anything, but don't think that you're the only one that makes mistakes, cause you're not. I'll fix that little baby up. Then I'm gonna take a little powder and just 
set that bad boy down. Okay, see? We're good to go. We're gonna blend out the lower lash line anyway. That shit's gonna be smoky. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm gonna take this purple. I know, I was like debating. Um, this is called Urban. And I'm going to put some of this in my crease. I'm totally just freaking winging it right now. I'm going to put some of this in the crease with a Morphe E30. This could go horribly wrong, and this video might never make it to the airwaves, but we'll see. Oh yeah, that's what we needed. So I'm keeping it super tight in the crease, and then we'll blend it out. Right in the crease, and then we'll go in with a clean brush and blend it out. That is just what the doctor ordered. Oh, did you really just say that? I did. I'm loving this brush. Okay, so I think that's good for blending. You guys know I like messy eyes. I don't like when they're too perfect, which is great because you don't have to work as hard. I'm gonna go back into Secret Garden and just freshen up the lid because I lost a lot of that color. Is this not so cool? Okay, I'm gonna mess with the lower lash line and then I may go back in. Okay, I'm gonna go back into Urban, this purple. Oh, I almost dropped it. And I'm gonna run this along the outer part of my lower lash line. Oh, and I'm using an E36, my favorite. And I'm going to take some of Secret Garden and also put that on the lower lash line, like in the center. And I'm going to take a flat, like a flatter brush. I like to use this Real Techniques shading brush. And I'm going to dip into just like a light, like peach smoothie. And I'm going to start blending this. I'm going to take a Q-tip with some Bioderma and just clean up this little edge. Not too precisely, but just, I don't want it kind of coming down as far as it is. Oh, did you hear my voice? Now you could totally leave it like this, but you know me, I like to just keep effing with things. So I'm going to take this, I know, this shade, I'm going to put it on my inner corner just because I want like a super intense pop on the inner corner. And I mean, we've already done all this, we might as well just... Go for the, go for the big one. I always go for the big one. Oh, and this guy is, I guess you want to know what it's called, Fortune Teller from Makeup Geek. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm loving that. I'm going to pull that on the lower lash line a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm happy I did that. I was kind of scared, but I like it. So I'm going to curl my lashes. I am going to line my upper lash line just with Makeup Beat Corrupt, just a basic black shadow, just to make shit even darker than it already is. Okay, I'm going to use my Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. I've been just loving this. So just pile on the mascara. Ah, that fucking hurt. Don't water. Don't water. <sighs> Don't you dare. Okay, to contour, I'm going to use my Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D because I never use this. I'm going to use the middle shade. 
and we're going to contour a little bit. This is nothing fancy. You guys know how I do this. It's always the same. I take it like in the hollow and then I, I blend it up because that's what looks good on my face. People always tell me I do it wrong though, but hey, it's what I like. And that's what's good about makeup. You do it the way you like it. If you wanna put your contour down the center of your face because that's what you think looks good, then you do it and don't listen to what anyone says. And you wave that Eda brush around because you can. Okay, and rant, continue contouring. I did not plan on going this hard with the makeup this early in the day. What are you gonna do? For a blush, I'm gonna use Lo Luminoso, Luminoso from Milani. This is one of the best blushes, not just drugstore, one of the best blushes ever. Mm, so pretty. And then usually once I do that, I take this huge It Cosmetics brush, the Heavenly Lux number one, and I just like to blend to make sure everything's blended. This brush is one of the greatest brushes ever. I do not have a lot of It Cosmetics brushes, but this brush, worth every penny. I don't even know how much it is, but I'm assuming it's a lot. You need it. Excuse me. I can get more intensity with my finger, but <laughs> wow. Okay. Walked right into that one, didn't I? I'm just going to take a little bit of Starlight from Anastasia Anastasia with a M438 just because I feel like it. Okay, now we good. All right, for lips, I'm using Dose of Color Stone. I have been wanting to wear this with a super dark eye, and this is the perfect look. I'm gonna line my lips with Soar from ColourPop, super, super light. I mean from MAC, ColourPop. Ay. Just to get the shape down, like super lightly. So good. Wow, that's a that's a lot of eye right there. Okay, let me finish my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, that's as good as they're gonna get today. I didn't do a brow bone highlight though, and I don't know what shade I want to use. So I'm just gonna go into nylon from MAC and I might yeah, it's MAC. And I might mix in a little bit of just like any matte cream shade just so it's not too intense. I'm going to just mix in Emphasize because it's right here. Okay, that's good. So a little nylon and a little Emphasize. Any like whitish matte shade would do. Or just go in with nylon or whatever you want. Totally up to you. And I like to blend my brow bone shade down a little bit because it just makes everything look so much more like just blended out like it fades out to nothing. Oh and like I mentioned guys these Makeup Geek matte shadows do release I'm pretty sure either today or tomorrow but I will post about it on my social media. I do have an affiliate link down below. They are amazing. I did post a swatch of them on my Instagram. But yeah, I'm going to do a video on them for you guys, showing you super quick. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay, you suck. Okay, what do you guys think? This was so not what I planned. Like the purple came out of nowhere, but once I did the, the teal shade, it's like so peacock appropriate that you have to add in purple. I like it. I really like how it turned out. I like the bright inner corner. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. So I'm going to put on a little bit of setting spray 
from, of course, Scandinavia. Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope that you don't think it's too close to Jacqueline's look. I, I mean, not that her look's not amazing, because it is, but I want mine to be different. So, yeah, I love this. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So if you guys recreate it, please tag me, tweet me, snap me. And, yeah, I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, I like this look. I like it. I like it a lot. I like my ISO. It doesn't go any brighter. My ISO. As if I know what that means. You know my ass don't. So, I hope you guys don't think this is too close to Jacqueline's look. Not that her look's not amazing, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a different, I'm a different bitch. I want it to be different. I didn't want it to be in the rain. Damn you, Jacqueline. I am so happy with how this turned out. I just love it. I love it. I am a happy camper. Consider me camping. Glamping. Boobies. It's a boob day to have a boob day. No. It's a boob day to have a boob day. Oh. So I really hope you got... <coughs> but if I was joking, why does every truck in the state of Pennsylvania have to drive by my house? Drive by my house. Drive by my house. I have to clean all this shit up. That was the worst part of my life. I mean, again, this is so freaking first world. Like, oh my God, it's going to make it. I'm digging this look. You know, we could have went super vamp on the lips again with this, huh? Yeah. It just happens. Like, why are you angry? Did I even... I don't... Did I? Are we having a good brow day? I think we Don't jinx it. Because it can end on the drop of a dime. I feel like a little turtle head. Like a little penis head. I that was too much. There's children. Children know what penises are. I always have dreams that someone's trying to kill me, and I'm, like, running in a snowsuit, and I can never get to where I'm trying to go, and it's just so weird, like, and then I end up in this house, and I'm, like, yelling for the person that's trying to kill me, like, I'm trying to get their attention, but they're not there, and then I, I run out of the house, but then they're chasing me, and then I'm trying to get away from them, even though I was just trying to get their attention, and I'm in a snowsuit the entire time, a freaking snowsuit, why, like a one-piece baby onesie snowsuit, hood, fleece, zip, what the fuck, I'm gonna take this peacock grunge penis head right to the, to the bank, to run some errands, mm-hmm, yep, and let somebody say something, and I will just walk the other way and not say anything back because... Bitch.